Uh, hi, so my name is Jasper Chapman Black, and I just want to show you a 3D graph extension that I wrote. It's written on top of SFML, which is a 2D graphics engine. Uh, it's written in C++, as you can see, and it uses quaternions, again, as you can see. Uh, for those of you who don't know what quaternions are, they're a way of representing rotations and, uh, I guess, perspectives using a four-dimensional variable. They're sort of like complex numbers, but in four dimensions, so they have some special rules for multiplication and the like. And what they let you do is they let you, uh, it, if you're given a 3D point and you're given a quaternion representing your perspective on that, there's a pretty simple set of operations you can do to project that 3D point uh, to be perceived relative to that uh, relative to that view. So what that lets you do is that lets you have uh, points that have an objective position in space, like these, and the camera is moving. So when you rotate the camera, you're not rotating the world around yourself. You're changing one number that represents the camera's rotation. And then every single other point is projected re uh, onto the screen relative to that camera position which is, well, it, it makes a lot of code cleaner. I'm not necessarily sure if it makes it, uh, yeah, it probably makes it faster. You know, uh, the library also has polygons, which aren't quite as impressive in aggregates, which is why we have this giant cloud of spheres, but uh, it, it can do polygons. There's, there's clipping when you get pretty, okay, so the clipping broke, but um, yeah, there's, there are a bunch of, pretty cool features in this graphics library. For example, if you get really close to a sphere, it'll block out all the spheres behind it, which uh, is, you know, pretty important, pretty rudimentary. But to accomplish that, I basically put the all of these sphere objects in this giant linked list of, uh, well, with their pointers, and merge sorted it based on the distance from the projected origin, so basically how far away it is from the camera. Um, this, I'm actually pretty proud of this. It's pretty fast with 2,000 points. It's pretty efficient in terms of, m like, the memory overhead is surprisingly small. And, yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just uploading it because this is sort of a cool thing. And if you take programming in high school, and spend a lot of time on Wikipedia, this is the sort of thing you'll be able to do. Just make 3D graphics engines from scratch. Well, on top of 2D graphics engines. So yeah, cool. See ya.